Hey, 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 Dom Salvucci. How you doing, brother? Hey, how's it going, Eric Verno? <laughs> hey, man. Doing well, doing well. Life's good. How, how are lives on the life on the West End of PA? It's craziness. School's back in session. And it's a football night in, well, Cleveland, but Pittsburgh's playing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, maybe roughly half of Pennsylvania is cheering, ready to go. But all of the NFL nation is excited for Thursday night football to be back. So that's definitely good. So that means we just got to step up our game. We're competing with Thursday night football now this, you know, for a couple weeks here. Oh, I know. But I think we can make it work. Yeah, man, we'll, we'll, we'll do. I mean, we, we won't have the end zone dances. You know, we're probably not going to have too much of the, um, you know, we're not going to be busting out the gritty while we're doing our sessions. But, hey, it'll still be pretty good. And, and I hear there's a rumor that there's, there's going to be some future swag coming on the show. That's what I hear. And uh, Inquiring Minds wanted to know more, but I was like, you know what? You're going to have to wait and listen to the pod to find out. That's right. And that's upcoming. Uh, yeah, we just, you got to wait whatever week it's going to be. You just don't know. It's going to be like a little playing roulette, figuring out which, what time it is. It'll be unannounced. All right, well, more fun that way. That's right. Keep everybody. And, and you got to be present to win when that happens, right? When we start rolling out, you got to be here. Yep. Most definitely. So, you know. It's Thursday night, even though it's football night. There's all sorts of other reasons why we get together. What do you think? You think it's time to kick something off? I think it's time for the PAECT pod. All right, let's crank it. All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the PAECT pod. I believe we're in episode 15. What do you think? Yes. Time is, is a flying. That is amazing. Over one year, we're over the one year hurdle. We need to act like veterans, but hey, we're still us, man. You know, we're just going to roll with it, do what we got to do. Still young. So, and I'm, hard. so I'm joined with Dom Salvucci. Dom, introduce yourself. Dom Salvucci. I am the regional director for the Southwest region of PAECT. And I'm also and I'm, your co-host on the PACT oh. pod. Eric, introduce yourself. <laughs> and I'm Eric Berno. I am the uh, truly privileged honor to be the vice president of this wonderful organization called PACT, a former regional director, a teacher in the York County area. Um, and, uh, you know, Dom's better half for the evening, definitely. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I think it's time for us to kick off some tech notes. What do you think? I think that is good. I'm trying to get my... I upgraded to a new computer and I don't have all the settings. Why is it? Why is it that I keep doing this? I keep <laughs> having all these glitches. Uh, hey, that's because you're a tech person. Tech people have glitches. All right. Yes. Here we go, man. Let's hit the transition. All right. Well, that wasn't our normal one with your voiceover, so we have to work on that one in the back end. All right, Dom. Are you, if you're ready to kick off, let me know. If not, I can jump in. Yeah, I, I'll let you go first to see if I can screen share. Right. I can paint a picture of what I want to do, but I don't have the ability to screen share. Uh, nobody wants you to paint a picture, Dom. Nobody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, hey, so this is going to be a little, little more geeky, definitely very niche. But, um, you know, we were talking about our, our technology and the things that, you know, we're doing and so I jokingly told Don beforehand I did a little something. I did a little uh, switching over from AT&T to a little T-Mobile love and going with a new phone. So cranking out a new Galaxy Fold. And, um, you know, I'm a Surface guy. I love my devices. And, uh, you know, but one of the things is I have it, but I really strive that it's a productive part of my workflow. So I, I'm, a, I'm a Microsoft Surface geek. So all day long, I am inking on my Surface. We're doing stuff like Dom talked about his Apple Pencil. I got things on the screen. And, you know, talk about having kids being high interest. Um, oh, that looks crazy. All right. And, you know, when a kid gets an opportunity to use a pen on this, I love how I have to, like, first of all, it doesn't work like a, 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 an iPad because you, it has a touch sensor in the pen so they can put their hand on it. And so many kids are just used to like hovering and it's hilarious. But so you want to talk about that kid in the corner that they're talking. 
and you you walk around and you give it to one kid and say, here, write your answer we were just talking about. And now every kid is glued in because they want to be the next kid to write on the thing. <laughs> so that's really powerful. But what's really cool is as, as the transitions are happening, how things are going on. So I'm able to just pull this out of my pocket. I'm able to kick into Microsoft OneNote and I'm able to just real quickly, you know, look at that good picture of Dom there in the reflection. But I'm able to Very real nice quickly get the pen out and make a quick note. I'm able to just quick jab, you know, write a note, you know, and I'm just able to ink right on the screen. And for instance, it was, you know, we're doing some work. I had the kids grouped. We're doing some rotations. I was like, oof, you know what? The, I had three kids that were ne not, not necessarily in the best group for them. So I quick wrote a little note, kind of kicked it over. I have all my lesson plans done in one note. So I was able to kind of write the notes, work on making that adjustment that I'll be making, you know, the following week. But I just knew, you know, when I got them back, I was able to um, adapt a little bit with the activities we were doing. So, but yeah, so I mean, just loving it. Like I said, when you want to use it, it's almost like the Kindle. And then when you, you kick it shut and then the screen will pop open on the front. And now it's just a skinnier kind of, you know, skinnier than the iPad. Um, but I'm able to work through, you know, a lot of different things. This doesn't have inking on on the, the front necessarily. You're just working on the inside and talk about, you know, Dom with uh, getting a little older, you know, working with uh, reading and making things a little bigger, like, you know, having something like this and be able to make that the, the, the text a little bigger is really nice. So for me, it's always been about, you know, utilizing that. I was a Galaxy Note user for a while. So I was, I was always in my pocket able to, you know, just to pull it over over here, just a smaller form factor, right? But just your mm -hmm. single slab and here, and it had the little stylus down below that I was able to use. So I was still inking here, but now just with that bigger screen, um, you know, that bigger area. So uh, very, uh, you know, was working on squirreling some pennies aside, you know, squirreling some money aside so I can, you know, make that purchase. But it's been great, you know, just to be able to jot different notes down. And again, that whole thing of, you know, getting a little older, you know, yeah. walking through the halls and somebody comes up and says, hey, blah, 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 blah. And I'm always like, can you just email everything you just said? And they're like, yeah, I said, because I'm going to forget it by the time I get to my room. And then as I take three steps away, I quick pull it out of my pocket, pop it open, and I write a quick note. Um, and then what's really been good is utilizing the Microsoft to do, because again, we, we have PCs as teachers, our kids have Chromebooks, um, but being able to keep notes with to do, I love the fact that, you know, I have a long list of things that I'm working on over here. So those are all like emails that were flagged that I need to pay attention to. And when I'm done, I can kind of check them off. But I'm even able to pull it out and do a quick little ink note. Like I talked about those responsibility slips. I was able to write the student's name down, have it for the day. So now tomorrow I can just double check and I remember what it is. And because to me, you know, if I write it on paper, the piles on my desk, you know, get to be, I jokingly say I had uh, my cooperative teacher when I was student teaching up at Bloomsburg Middle School, Nancy Edwards. Uh, phenomenal woman, but she used to always say the sign of a creative teacher is a messy desk. And I think I really just tried to make myself look so stinking creative over the years <laughs> that I cannot avoid it. Like my piles have piles and uh, mm -hmm. they don't get tall. They just grow wider. Yes. So it tends to get a little chaotic. So, but that's kind of my tech, that's a cheater, but that's kind of like my, my tech note, you know, the, the galaxy fold, just making sure any kind of tech you have, Make it fit your workflow. Utilize yeah. it to help make yourself productive. Yeah, and I like that. My, I that's why I've tried to get away from paper. Um, and I got to give Gina a shout out. Yeah, I, we saying, keep hitting the same button at the same time. I'll let you do. All it. right, go ahead. <laughs> she is very creative. Yes. I love that. Yes, you are. That's it. <laughs> and and uh, I've gotten away. I tell the kids this is it's it's you can write on paper, scan it, send it in through Schoology because I won't lose it that way. It's there. Yeah. On the computer. I don't mind if you write on paper, scan it. That way we don't lose it. Because even um, I would do the same thing with, um, I had the live scribe pen for a while. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I had, when I was a KTI, we got the live scribe pens. Yeah. Um, but even with the rocket book, I'll sit there and I'll watch um, a video or something. If I'm not using Edpuzzle, because some videos can't go into Edpuzzle because of, um, certain rights and if some of the hip use mm -hmm, history mm -hmm. videos can't go in and such so i'll take notes on paper because it's easier for me have you know, something playing on my screen and i have paper, pencil and paper in front of me all right scan it upload it and that's you know the study guide if i have time i'll type it you know or if it's not too messy i can leave it as handwriting um so i get it paper paper works well for me but it does get cluttered 
and I lose things. And then it's a matter of, you know, where did I put it? Or it's right. somewhere in this pile. If it's student work, you have to find it. Cause it's not fair to the kids. Yeah. You know? But, uh, well, and, you know, so, so talking about like building community in your classroom, I do have a rule, you know, if the kids kind of make a mistake, they got responsibility slips, they got things they have to do. Uh, well, my rule is, you know, if I make a mistake, I got to, you know, whether it's not getting a paper back in time, losing a paper, whatever the case may be. Um, so it's funny. My so near my house is where my daughters went to elementary school. And the one principal there, actually, she's been she's been she sent her teachers to KTI in the summer and mm -hmm. she's been there. And so we get to talk and then she laughs with me doing prize patrol and everything. But she knows uh, she'll usually get donuts for her staff for Fridays. But she knows if she sees me pull up and I walk in, she'll just say, what did you do this time, Eric? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I totally just, you know, left left a whole stack of papers at the house. I was supposed to get back to the kids. I own donut holes. So we have a thing called Maple Donuts in York here. So and now it's funny because if the ladies there see me on a Friday, they'll be like, hey, teach, what did you do now? And I'm like, oh, girls, <laughs> I, you know, it's and, and I have to confess. I'm telling everybody that everybody in there is laughing. They're like, oh, the teachers having to get donuts. So it's, it's always a, a big thing. But nice. my students this year haven't experienced well i made some mistakes but we don't have a friday because of our thing so i technically could owe it for them tomorrow but it's not going to happen but they haven't experienced donut friday yet so it's it's going to happen i just just have a feeling i haven't made too many major mistakes that donuts are needed so all right well i cut you off dom what's your no what's problem. your tech note there okay if i could share your screen because i have to shut chrome down to share my screen and i don't want to shut down in the middle of a broadcast all right um it is ozobot.com slash educate slash classroom all right give me a second here let's do this again. uh some uh, so. one of the leaders in my daughter's girl scout troop she is a senior and uh her and some of her friends in the troop have earned their robotics badge through girl scouts so they work we have a multi-level troop every year they run the daisy badge for the daisy leaders and we start off with um you know Ozobots and some other little things. And then we finish up the, the daisies make their own robots next week. They'll make their own robots. Um, almost they're gonna make hex bug robots next week out of mm. um, toothbrushes and little vibrating motors and button batteries. Um, okay. But we do the Ozobots and the daisies love it because coding with color um, mm. and for parents and educators, you have a free platform. If you go to ozobot.com slash educate slash classroom, you look across the top, you have shop, how it works, educators, lessons and activities. They have free lessons for different subjects, for parents to use in different settings. Um, right now, if you wanted to buy, because my ozobots are a little old and only have a couple of them left that are running because they're rather old. Um, I borrowed some from the school district where my daughter goes to school, Elwood City, and uh, they loaned me about six Ozobots. So the girls, we were doing races, and we're you know, showing the color code, how they work and everything, and the little girls loved it. Mm. But you can go on here, and you know, eventually you'll be able to buy for the small sets. Right now they're only available for classrooms. But they, you can sign up for free with an email, whether you're a parent or an educator. And you can go in and pull up lessons and ideas on how to use the Ozobots in various subjects. And I like it because uh, the Evo, it's a little pricier, but you can code it, which teaches like the basic coding Blockly and some of the other basic coding um, programs. Or you can use like we did last night with just markers. Um, the only thing is, if you're going to use a marker on paper, Put like one of those cheapy tablecloths down underneath the paper because the markers will bleed through. But um, uh, probably about six six years ago, when my daughter and our troop went through the badge on their own, we ended up we had paper all over the, the room was covered with paper, and they were racing their Ozobots all through <laughs> the floor. I mean, it just turned into like this giant race marathon, um, you know, around tables, through tables, trying to get the do tricks and things like that. Um, kids get into it, and it, it's just easy. They have all the resources on there and they're free. Now, the, the robots, due to supply issues and yeah. things like that, you know, they're they're a little pricey, but I bought them. They were like $50 each, I think, um, 
you know, a few years ago now they're a little bit more because of you know the the supply chain and scarcity but they said that i emailed them last night and i, I received an email today that you know, they're hoping to get them back into the individual household hands rather soon um deborah mentioned here that you know i use do have the devices i know uh iu 27 bviu by me has devices that could be low, borrowed out um you know iu uh iu three down in allegheny county i know they have some they have a, a decent sized lending library down there and some of the schools have them um, a lot of schools have them actually you know so it's a neat little device they work from you know kindergarten through 12th grade and this is just a free resource if you can get your hands on the Ozobots. Just some ideas. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I'm signed up, man. I got to work on it. All right. I got, got my classroom all set. I got to add some stuff in. I like that. Cool. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, sometimes I do trainings and stuff for other organizations. So I'll be doing a yeah. physical computing training down in Virginia. And one thing they work on is the, um, the micro bits. So uh -huh. it's, uh, and then, but again, it's the, it's the purchasing constraints. Like there is yeah. such a, such a problem with a lot of that stuff. So, um, but that's cool, man. I, I love it. You know, being a, being the dad of three girls, like getting the coding going and, you know, working, you're working with your troop there and the stuff. Yeah. I, I, it's super cool. And, and uh, yeah. You know, when I did our code with the high school teaching social studies, we did the you know hour of code turned into like a month of code. Kids kept coming in, we would have snacks and, the high school kids loved playing with the Ozobots and they were, you know, mm -hmm. you get to very meticulously drawn the line. So they, you know, trying to race each other, trying to see who could do more stunts and the bragging rights of, I could get the Ozobot to do more than you could and how far can <laughs> we push it? And, you know, things like that. Sure. And even the older kids, like, because my wife gets amazed. I'll, I'll go to the dollar tree and I'll buy stickers or dollar 25 trees. I call it now. And I'll get stickers. <laughs> yeah. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like kids like stickers. I said, I don't use paper that often, but I put stickers on the paper. Mm -hmm. They get fired up. In fact, we were talking last week at, at the uh, happy hour. They have sustained silent reading in uh, um, the one school. And I forget who mentioned it. But the one teacher, there's no points involved. 20 minutes a week. And the teachers across the English department have it set up. And the way it is, Gina's, Gina's taking credit. So I will give her credit because I don't remember. S yep, SSR. Um, they have a chart out on the wall. And it's out in the hall where everyone can see, and they get they get stickers for you know hitting certain goals, and the kids mm. get all fired up, and you know they bragging rights out in the hall. It's my stickers, mm. you know I have more than you, and yeah. you know, people don't believe it because they go oh, teenagers, but sometimes mm -hmm. the simplest things get them fired up. Yeah, it, it's it's like badging, you know, it's yeah. just with stickers. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, very neat. You know, again, sometimes tech works, but sometimes a sticker is the tech. I like yeah. that. Awesome stuff. All right. Well, so we got the, the Galaxy Z Fold 4, the little bit more of the expensive of the two. Ozobots, you know, in Ozobots Classroom. So a lot of good stuff there. So, man. Oh, oh, oh. Scratch and sniff stickers are gold. Man, bringing back the memories. Good stuff. I like it. <laughs> yeah. No, I like that. That's good stuff. Very Don't cool. Call for the scratch and stiff marker. Yeah, it's a scented marker. And you know, day you have a marker. Yeah, them up. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah, we did get new markers, and they're, they're, some of the teachers were requesting the smelly ones, and when those showed up, man, they disappeared fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All the lines, you can smell them, can't you? And then you get closer. <laughs> eh, you, you lean in. All right. I don't know. Gina's on the show. She's going to be pranking us. I'm a little worried about this. <laughs> yeah. Bet your dollar you can't roll this quarter down your nose. You uh -huh. the yep, yep. There it goes. <laughs> All right, man. So as we're closing out, we got important things to share, right? We got – uh, is, 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 has kickoff time occurred already? Does Dom have a TV on in his room? Is it, no, are, it's, are it's behind me. I don't have it on yet. Uh, okay. I'm focusing Steelers on this. Steelers versus Browns. Huh? Steelers versus Browns. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I have to admit. <laughs> Gina's you know. trying, she's, she's trying to defend herself. Wait, yeah. whoa, whoa, I meant the stickers. Yeah. So you got your team has a big game coming up. This week, <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, we do. I guess is it? Are we? Yeah, Dolphins versus the Bills, huh? That's upcoming. So I'll, I'll be a Dolphin Ooh, fan this week. Wild. Yeah, <laughs> I had a lot of Steelers fans that were rooting for the Dolphins against the Ravens. So, um, yeah, no, nah, it's good stuff. So, 
always good to see. You know, it's it's interesting. I just I thank you so much to our corporate council, our venture sponsors, and our gold sponsors. I tell you, I keep working on that video, and it feels like I don't know what happens, but it feels like the track just like, jumps on top of itself, gets all kind of crazy there at the end. So I gotta work, keep working on that. Yeah, if you're it's perfected, around, you know my oh, video skills have arrived. <laughs> you, you, hey, you're getting good. If you're ever out at a conference and you see some of these sponsors, please thank them. Um, without their support, we would not be able to do this. Which you may think maybe that would be a good thing. Maybe it wouldn't. Uh, a little less of us, <laughs> but they also help us bring different programs to you guys um, and offer things to you, professional development and events we wouldn't be able to do without them. Um, one such event, which I forgot to bring up, but it's coming back up, I believe, Race of the Regions. Oh, man. Uh, the rumor that, is that, it's coming back. Thing? Oh, we got to because because what? what Who was the last winner? Who, who, who would uh, that be, Dom? Let me think. Let me think. Oh, um, did he properly place the shoe? Southwest. Oh, there it is. Southwest. Oh, Plan on keeping it. it. Plan on keeping <laughs> uh, it. All right. We're going to work on dethroning Southwest. I don't care what region it is. <laughs> we got to get, get, get that shoe out of there. <laughs> I'm just glad he puts it behind his back so I can't see it every week. <laughs> got to work on that one. Maybe that, that shelf right above your sign. I yep. like uh, that's funny. Good stuff. All right. Well. You know, uh, reach out to Dom at D Salvucci on Twitter. Reach out to myself, E underscore Verno, with anything tech note tip related, anything you'd like to hear, you know, some things that you'd like to be different. If um, you would like yeah. to submit your own tech note, please feel free. Um, sure. You know, work something out. You could either join us live or submit a video. And we could push it out. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely can pull it in, use whatever. I mean, bottom line is PACT is as, as good as its members and our members are amazing yes. so that makes pact a great organization so we truly appreciate that i see some comments flying in here last minute blah blah blah, blah. oh it's a, it's man. a port of southwest and the golden shoe oh she's she's got some southwest pride going oh buddy we gotta get some people in here oh <laughs> but at least we can agree on amazing yes. organization there we go we can finish with that all right. Well, well, Dom, you know, closing out the show. Another great time of us chatting. We got a lot more coming on. Oh, we have we have um, a new we have someone else repping. New oh, viewer. Man. Chrissy Barnes kicking in from the southeast. Oh boy. Let's get those steps rolling. Get those shoes ready. All right, there's gonna be a lot of sneaker shopping here in the next couple <laughs> weeks. So we gotta we gotta I mean this better come to fruition, Dom, or you're gonna be in trouble. This doesn't oh, I know. happen. Oh, the, you better work on that. The wheels are in motion. The PD, PD department has been setting out uh, emails and reaching out and trying to get things going. So the PD PD uh, committee is is getting things rolling. All right. Very good. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much for joining. We really, truly appreciate yeah, it. And appreciate you. Hey, as always, Dom, PACT, we, we are. are. <laughs> the voice of of EdTech in Pennsylvania and beyond. All right. Thank good. you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night. Yeah. Have a great night. Have a good week. See you next month. That's it.